Yo, we back with another reaction, man. It's your boy, Boss Care Music, man. You know, on this channel, I like to react to some of your favorite YouTubers and influencers. So if that's the content you like, subscribe, 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 right? Quick house rules. I like to go through these videos, give my thoughts and opinions. You can follow along with me. Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Before I press play, give you two, three seconds to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You got two, three seconds to go ahead and hit the subscribe button before I press play. So Karina and Flo held their baby shower over the weekend and members of FOE were actually present. So it appears that he's back cool with some of the members. As you can see, Rod is here with him now, as well as a while ago, Jay Long left a comment underneath the Shade Room teens that stated congrats after they announced they were having a baby girl. Anyways, you... Okay, that's what's up. All right guys leave your opinions on that down below let's see if jazz and flow make any type of reconnection but let's move on to this next topic with brooklyn and tt so you guys know tt and brooklyn are really good friends and people were surprised to see that tt was hanging out with cinco's new girl where hey. where did bella go oh, she came out with a yeah she probably shit is probably. i might do this shit. if his girl was <laughs> What? <laughs> she's talking about it. She doing the number two, huh? Sick I told her I might have to do her. I mean, what y'all want TT to do? She like what? It's okay. She's, go do -do, like, she's been gone for so long. <laughs> As I'm in the midst of applying for residency right now, wish me luck, Grammarly has again been a lifesaver with my application and helping me. She also posted this picture with her on her Instagram and people in the comment section were stating, Brooklyn's not your friend. This kind of weird and I'm not being rude. Another person states, TT don't got nothing to do with Brooklyn and Cinco. Y'all in these comments tripping. Another person states, my friends know better. Now someone also left a comment that stated, I'm saying like what? Like. They chilling. Like, what's she supposed to tell Eris she don't want Cinco around because Cinco don't mess with Brooklyn no more? What? He like, what? Man, if you don't worry about us and mind your business. That's how weird they is with Britney, too, and dub new girlfriend. I guess it runs in her family blood. Now, DDG's mom did come back and respond with, what you talking about? Now, I believe they're talking about when Dub took his new girlfriend on that family vacation and they were posting pictures with her. People were stating that that's kind of fake because y'all were just in Britney's face. Now y'all are all in his new girlfriend's face. Well, man, y'all know how that be, man. Y'all know how they be, man. Family gonna roll with whoever the person that's in a family choose to love and be with at that time. Yes, the family phony. So what? But they supposed to be like, what? Why y'all be tripping like y'all don't know this? Anyway, Brooklyn did release a statement, which included a text thread between her and TT. Now, in this text thread, TT did tell her that Aries and Cinco, of course, still hang out and hang around the same people. So Cinco's new girlfriend has been around and she didn't want anything weird. So anyways, Brooklyn stated, hey, guys, me and TT talked prior before the post, TT is a great friend. I don't care. You guys shouldn't either. Love you guys. So anyways, leave your opinions on that down below. Do you think it's right that TT is hanging around Cinco's new girlfriend? Now, I think the only thing that makes this a little bit. Yeah, that's what's look at. Look, TT is a good friend. I just read real fast. Like, she cool. Like weird for everyone is I believe TT and Brooklyn were friends first and Brooklyn kind of introduced them to Cinco so it's kind of like she wasn't even friends with him before she became friends with Brooklyn but anyways again you guys leave your opinions on that down below but let's move on to this next topic with 
Corey and his new boo, Danny. Now, if you guys didn't know, Danny has a past that people are constantly talking about. Now, this time they're speaking on her scamming from that tax business that she stayed in she made the majority of her money from. Now, after Corey posted a photo with Danny, someone reposted that photo and stated, y'all remember that girl, Chastine, that was stealing them people tax returns? The one who doesn't run tax business under her name, making them people get EFINs so she can ruin them? The one who said she got the feds in her pocket, that she has people on the inside at the IRS, yet Corey just hit a lick. Get it all, Corey. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all, man? But y'all, y'all gotta stop. If y'all gonna congratulate Carmen, y'all gotta congratulate Corey, even if he jumping from relationship to relationship. Like, come on, y'all, don't do that. Y'all ain't gonna dig up big boogie pass. Like, what's going on? You know, when I got into the test game, I didn't, it was my first year as an entrepreneur. They had told me a scammer before I did a, a tax return. That'd be crazy. I'm like, how am I scamming? Because I'm charging a prep fee. That's how much I charge for my business. What is $500? What is $9.99? What is $200? That's how much I charge for my business. This, said, Black people want shit. Yeah, people, everybody want, oh, why well, you charging uh, 1200 Everybody else charged 300 Well, go to them. Go to them then. Yeah, I don't have to pay my 1200 Free. I just want to say. Be quiet, Corey. Just that's, that's what I charge my business. That don't mean I'm scamming you because that's my prep fee. Scamming you is when you don't get a tax check. But it's so hard for black people to understand that because a lot of people be wanting stuff for free. You know, a lot of people be wanting stuff for free. You know, I had like an incident that happened at my store yesterday. AI is smart, but it can also help you get smarter. AI tools are already helping people. It's likely that whatever. You know, I ain't even want to go back and forth with the lady. I said, let me tell you something. Man, lady, this peach fiber pan ain't number $10. We ain't got to do all that over there. Let me, let me just give you this, huh? You can have it, you know? So it's like. One thing about it, when you elevate, it's going to be new ne- new levels, new devils. That's what I want to tell y'all. You know, if I ain't talking about you, you ain't popping shit. And one thing I, I am going to tell you about this media, um, they love to see people fold. So in the beginning, they're going to be all against you. Oh, she did, she did, she did. And when they don't see you fold, they're going to roll with you, man. They're going to roll with you. Yeah, she know. She been with um big um block boy JB. I promise you, I see I see it happening to upcoming rappers. Soon as a rapper get hot, the whole media, oh she ugly. She did, she did, she did. Why y'all listen to her music? But soon as y'all see that rapper don't fold and she popping her shit, she standing ten toes down. Oh y'all rolling with her. Y'all, oh she pretty. She had, last week she just was ugly. Last week she just was ugly. I'm just saying, you know, y'all flip so quick. So that's why I'm trying to tell you, like, it's some black people out here that really got a bag in real life. No internet shit. It's people out here that's really getting money, that's really getting a bag, that really can talk, really can mentor you. I like it first. Get you some, get you some peach cob. Talk to them with your phone on two percent and cut off. I'm home. Here, I'm on shoot. Good. Lady two. Did you favor that? Of course I did. So Chris Sales pretty much started a T channel on. T- <laughs> she told me, did you pay for that? She bought them dollars, boy. All that Corey talked about ain't done, boy. You pay for that peach cobbler? Why you come around that real fast with one? TikTok, where he's spilling all the tea, even calling Corey out. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, I'll be back, hold on, call me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Corey, Corey, Pritchett, you, let's clock this tea real quick, hold on, hold on, hold on, look, look, twin, 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 Come on, I ain't even calling you twin. That's beyond me. You not my twin no more. 
Oh, God. Corey. Is that Corey in the high? Hold on, Corey. <laughs> Corey. Bro, just, bro, you just, you violated me right now, Twin. Like, you can't be doing that. Bro just said I was all types of, you know what? And then on top of that, let me tell y'all what he just did. He just got with a girl. He paid a girl to be with him. If that ain't the most desperate, I ain't never been that desperate, Twin, on God. I never paid no. I don't think he, I think he paid for the business relationship and you know, the look, the look, ooh, nah, nah, just came with it, man. You know? No female. Most things we do go out to eat, I buy a bitch bad, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. But look, though, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, twin, you pay the girl 10K to be with you. Carmen, bro, Carmen, somebody go check on him before he commit some, before he do something to himself, bro. Y'all need to really go check on that, man. I ain't gonna lie. TikTok, TikTok. Listen, bro. Word two, word two. You heard? Look, look, look. Biggie, what's his name? Boogie, Carmen boyfriend. Let me tell y'all what bro just said. I'm so unbothered by everything and everybody. I've been living my best life, blocking out everybody energy, but my daughters. I love. Yeah, this would be like the fourth time somebody react to that on my channel. We not gonna react to that. Um, Chris L and Corey not gonna stop, man. They not gonna stop. Hit like, subscribe, but drop something in the comments. I know what y'all think about this reaction.